To God be the glory, we greet you in Jesus' name from First Crown Ministries. We say thank you for attending. Whenever you have an opportunity to listen, whether you on live or you are watch it later on, to God be the glory. This is the day that the Lord has made, and I shall rejoice and be glad in it. I always love to start on that. And the other day, sidebar, I got caught up and going to work, and I was like, God, this is the day. And one thing about this is the day is it's a brand new day, a day that we haven't experienced or seen before. And it kind of got caught up in my spirit and I got to singing and crying. And I was like, oh, most of the time I don't wear makeup just to work. I'm going to say to school, but to work. And um, I was like, oh, Lord, I don't spend this time putting this makeup on my face. I'm going to cry right off. And I was like trying to catch the tears. But then there came a time that I could not uh, stop the tears from flowing because I realized and it got in my spirit about this being the day that the Lord has made. And the fact that I woke up this morning and the fact that I have activities of my limbs and the fact that I was able to move in a function, it didn't mean that everything was okay. It didn't mean that everything was all right. It didn't mean that all my bills was paid. It didn't mean that my body was not wrecking with pain, but this was a brand new day that the Lord had gave me. And the thought about that, the flashback of where he brought me from, even until this day, it's amazing how he keep on keeping us in spite of us and it got down in my spirit of this is the day that the lord has made and i shall be glad and i shall rejoice it don't matter what come or what may god is still god and he still has allowed us as a whole as a body to have breath to have strength and move forward some of us you know we have different ailments and different things going on i mean by, by the way my my little head is hurt right now but this is the day that the Lord has given unto me and no headache, no heartache, no leg ache, nothing is going to stop me from blessing his name because I realized whom my help comes from and I realized that I didn't make myself but he himself has made me and because of his who he is that give me another opportunity to bless his name so I'm happy when I say this is the day that the Lord has made and the fact that I am going to be glad and rejoice in it because I realized it was nothing that I did I didn't cause no how to grow or not to grow hallelujah no statue I didn't cause my myself to grow taller which would be a good idea or anything like that but the fact of who he he made me to be hallelujah he gave me a heart and a desire to seek his face and, and, and to pursue after the things of God and to have a love that I can't even explain uh, because this is the day that the Lord has made it gives me strength and power enough to forget those things that happened early in the day the anguish the hell the heartache the misunderstanding glory to God that did not so right things that flow or did not flow or should have flowed or could have flowed or didn't flow or what I should have would have could have done but this is the day that the Lord has made it gives me strength to push past what I see in my natural eye and say God I know it has to be something greater for me in this day and so you know we have to wake up sometimes we 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 we, we uh, uh get started and we behind schedule and everything like, oh Lord I gotta do this oh Lord I gotta do that but sometimes you got to sit in a pocket and get in a place. I don't care if it's you driving down the highway and have a flashback about the goodness of God and the things that he has done in your life and the fact that he gave you breath. There's so many people, glory to God, that did not wake up. Uh, and we mourning and we crying over that. But the Lord is saying, this is still the day that you got to get up. Uh, you got to push past the natural. And you got to be able to have enough strength to seek the supernatural. Strength to endure. Strength to overcome. Strength to be in power. Strength to even look at a bad situation and say, God, what kind of miracle you going to perform out of this? This is the day that the Lord has made glory to God and that gives me strength and power hallelujah and focus enough to push past what I see in my natural eye and say God I thank you for this day and I thank you for the better I thank you you know one day not too long ago I was on the way to work and I was in a doom and gloom oh God real real bad and the Lord was like mm -mm -mm, 
He said, you got to change your mind and the way you look at things because I gave you this day. Uh, and right then and there, I was like, oh, Lord, let me get myself together. See, somebody can correct you, glory to God, and you be thinking, oh, Lord, I know they didn't say this, that, or the other. But when the Lord himself speak into your ear and push you forward, then it give you enough strength to Lord, oh, let me dust off myself. Let me get myself together because I realized at that point that my day, glory to God, was already made and he already had a plan, but I had to walk into the plan of God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I'm sorry. Thank you, Jesus. It's just the fact that when I said this is the day, it made me have a flashback about what he did yesterday and the day before and yet what he about to do today. So you can be in a place, your body can be wrecking with pain. Glory to God. You don't know, hallelujah, when the next miracle sign, food, or anything is coming from but when you get into the fact of who God is in your life, you will forget all about some things. Hallelujah. Just as I was talking, just as I was saying and bragging about how good God has been to me, guess what? The head had gone and it lifted. See, the enemy will try to cause some things to come in your pathway to see if you're going to stop right there or can you push past what you feel in your natural man. And most of the time, if you gather enough strength to push past that flesh, you will find that there's a place glory to God and God where the release come hallelujah I hadn't planned to say all of that so hallelujah bless his name bless his name bless his name hallelujah we just thank the Lord for being in this place we thank him for his anointing we thank him for his power we thank him for his glory we thank him for his day we thank him for giving us strength and the ability to pursue on and walk on and go on and we thank him for being God all by himself. Uh, we thank him for he already knows the way that we should take. Uh, we thank him for making our path smooth and plain. Uh, hallelujah. We thank him for enlarging our territories on today. Glory to God. We just give him glory, honor, and praise. Hallelujah. For this is the day that the Lord has made. Hallelujah. You're going to find us tonight. I really don't know where I'm going, but I'm going somewhere. Hallelujah. With um, First Chronicles chapter 4, verse 9. And it reads as follows. It says, and Jabez was more honorable than his brethren. And his mother called his name Jabez, saying, because I bear him with sorrow. And Jabez called on the God of Israel, saying, Oh, that thou wouldest bless me indeed and enlarge my coast and that thy hand might be with me and that thou wouldest keep me from evil that it may not grieve me. And God granted him that which he requested. Hallelujah. We gonna stop right there. Glory to God. The day I was sitting, I was like, Lord, what is it that you want to say to your people? I mean, what did you, you want to say to me? Where we going? I don't know. How's this thing going to be? I can't figure it out. And as I was sitting at 624 this afternoon and everything that I had planned, nothing came together. But at 624 this afternoon, he said, tell my people, hallelujah, it's about to come forth. He he said, tell my people it's about to be a birth and glory to God. And so what the birth mean? It means to bring something forth forward. Hallelujah. And when we think about birth and the first thing we're thinking about is somebody having a baby, the conception and the seed and the sperm and the baby being formed in the womb for like nine long months and outcome, glory to God, a precious bundle of joy, birthing. But we're talking about a birth and not hallelujah as, as far as a child, hallelujah, but we're talking about birthing in the spirit of what God has designed for your life life, glory to God. I don't care what stage you will find yourself in in life. It's always something better. It's always something to aspire for. It's always something, glory to God. Hallelujah. Even though obstacles may be uh, uh, opposing your dreams, desires, or the way that even you feel like the Lord has taken you, you better know that in this season, God is about to birth some things. Uh, hallelujah. So in the birthing process, they had a couple of things 
saints in the Old Testament, they had midwives and the midwives job was to actually help hallelujah them in, in the, when they was uh, uh, pushing forth to, you know, coach them through hallelujah, catch the baby, clean the baby, wrap it hallelujah, they salted the babies I don't understand all of that quite yet, but we'll get there, hallelujah, they salted the babies and they wrapped the babies, glory to God, that was the midwife responsibility, and so while we mention the midwives today in the birth of process in 2022 is because when you get ready to do this next thing, uh, it's a thing that you cannot do by yourself. Uh, you're going to have to have somebody to coach you through, glory to God. And we're not talking about hire a coach, but it may require that as well. But we're talking about get somebody spiritual that can travail. Mm. Hallelujah. Get somebody spiritual that can see. Get somebody spiritual that can help open up, glory to God, the word of God to you as, as far as what you've been reading, what you've been hearing and have no understanding. God is about to bring a birth and forth where there is revelation, where there is knowledge and understanding in this day. Uh, then he said to me, they also had a birthing stool that they use. Uh, so sometimes they will put them on the birthing stool and it was all about being in a position, glory to God, that it would take the weight off of the woman and she's able, glory to God, to push it on through with ease. Hallelujah. So in this season, glory to God, God is going to use people. He's going to use things. He's going to show you what to get and connect with that will help push the vision through. Hallelujah. And that's going to be your birthing stool. Hallelujah. It's a place that you sat down when you in labor, glory to God. And then, hallelujah, it talked about the child was cleaned up. He was sodic. He was wrapped. Hallelujah. Praise God. I'm sorry. It's my work phone. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. <clears throat> And how all these things came to, about. And if you read in the Old Testament, glory to God, in Ezekiel, excuse me, in Exodus 1 and 16, it talked about the birthing stool. In Genesis 35 and 17, it talked about the midwives. And, and, and then uh, in Ezekiel 16 and 4, it talked about being wrapped in the swallowing clothes. And then it, before they gave them to the mother or the mother or the father already knew the family name that they were going to give to the child and it talked about naming the child hallelujah so in this season glory to God you got to be in a place hallelujah to name it you got to be able to call it you got to be able to uh, speak it out into that atmosphere glory to God and you know back in the day they said naming and claiming it's yours hallelujah but in this season you might have to do some travailing over it hallelujah you might have to do some toiling over it but it's about to come to pass the woman was considered ritually uh unclean for a period of 40 to 80 or 80 days i finna say 80 years my god uh and that's in leviticus 21 verse 1 through 8 hallelujah when after they gave birth and especially if it was a female or a male child it determines how many days that she would be her clean hallelujah so some things God is going to bring forth. Uh, don't worry about the sources coming from. Uh, he said that he'll take the, the wealth of the wicked and lay it up for the just. Uh, and glory to God, I've seen sometimes uh, that miracles came from un uh, 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 mm, charted sources, I'll say. And at the end of the day, the Lord knew that if he did not tell me to move forward, I was like, oh Lord, uh -uh. my self-righteousness had got a hold of me when I was thinking that, hey, if I, if I do that, if I do that and the Lord was like no I had already prepared that raven for you I had already prepared that thing to feed you I had already prepared that thing to take you over he said that just like Peter hallelujah he said you can't call unclean what I have already called clean because I already have ordained it for your life that's enough to stop and praise God right there. Because you're looking for things to come one way, but God said it's going to come another way. One thing about the Lord that you can't try him, uh, you can get an idea because we know in part and we prophesy in part, but until that is full has come, hallelujah, we got to keep on, glory to God, being open-minded and being able to receive what the Lord has released into earth for your life 
in this season. Hallelujah. So then they had different kinds of birth. You know, we have the full term birth, but there was a time that they had premature birth. First Samuel 4 and 19, go read it on your own. Time and leisure. It was when the Ark of the Covenant was captured and the and the and the, the wife of uh of Eli, one of Eli's sons heard that the ark had been captured. So what she do? And she heard that her father-in-law had died and her husband had died and her body went into shock and she gave birth premature. So, you know, sometimes they're like, it ain't no premature day. If it ain't this, it ain't that. Read your Bible. It's in the word of God. What you don't want to do is do something premature. Hallelujah. Open up your mouth and let the secret out the bag before the Lord give you a release of it. You got to hold that thing. You got to harness that thing. And you got to wait until the Lord say, now it's time. Glory to God. What is he doing? He's teaching us how to be prepared. He's teaching us how to hold it. He's teaching us how to walk in it and speak only when he tell us to speak. But we got to have an ear to hear and a receptive heart to obey the word of God. Hallelujah. So the ark was captured at that time. And the Bible said that she bowed and gave birth for her pain was too hard for her to bear. Basically, she had saw a heart because of the ark, saw a heart because of her brethren, her husband, and her, her father-in-law. And so you can get into a place, glory to God, that so much is coming. It'll cause you to birth some things prematurely in pain. And we've got to make sure in this season that we don't push forth uh, something that God has not caused us to push forth in. I, I know about having premature babies. I had two twins. One live, one died. Glory to God. That's a story for another time. Hallelujah. But I know glory to God. Even my first son was premature. Glory to God. I'm going to tell you what happened on that one. We had came from a little choir rehearsal. I was a little teenager. Just as pregnant as I could be. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Didn't even understand, but knew, hey, hey, she pregnant with a baby hallelujah so we was going in the church van dropping off people at their house glory to god and we went down this hill and in the hill there was a curve and when the cur when the van went around the curve a man was laying on the side of the road he rose up hallelujah and you know we we kept on going because we was afraid and i believe that he was intoxicated uh, and when he saw the light it woke him up and he rose up uh, and that very Every night I went into labor for fear. The fear had gripped me so bad because I didn't know what had happened to him, how he got there. My mind had went so far. I began to seep. Uh, 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 my my umbilical about uh, my, my fluids, glory to God. And that night I went to school the next morning. The teacher said, Girl, what you doing here? You gotta go home. You're about to have a baby. But because I was a child, hear me. I did not understand what was going on with my body. I did not understand the natural process that most grown women would understand. Hallelujah, because they knew what was gonna happen next. But by me being a baby, unable to uh, uh, uh articulate or know, glory to God. Hallelujah, I was walking through a process that my body was taking action that I didn't could and that I couldn't control. So therefore, I thought I had tickled on myself. Uh, and I told my teacher, I said, hey, I'm in high school. I said, hey, I keep on tingling on myself. I mean, I, I got this pad on and, and everything, but I just keep on tickling. She said, baby, you, you, you're leaking. Your fluid is coming. You got to get up out of here. And she said, go on down them stairs and get to their office where, you know, you know, when you're grown, you're grown. I was trying to do my own thing, glory to God. And, and she ended up beating me down there. So I thought she was going to jack me up. Uh, but the thing about it is they got me out of there, got me to the hospital. And the next day, guess what happened? They thought they was going to prevent the labor, but the baby came forward. Hallelujah. Thank God. Hallelujah. That he had a design plan and purpose. Uh, he did not struggle through, uh, but he had to stay at the hospital. Glory to God. And what am I saying in all of that? I understand the process of uh, wanting something or being in something that you had no control over. But when you're there, glory to God, you still got to ask God uh, what you want me to do with this thing uh, and how you want to handle this thing uh, and what and how we're going to work it out and do because 
because if you don't, uh, you'll find yourself in the midst of something that you don't know how to handle. Uh, I did not know how to handle that, but the grace of God covered me. Uh, thank God for Jesus. Hallelujah. For the covering, the shield, and the protection, uh, not only over my body, but my mind and my child. Uh, see, some of us have gotten into some things that we ought not to have been in, uh, but God said, I'm still going to cover you, even though it came too fast, uh, even though your body wasn't physically uh, ready for this. Uh, we're going to go through this process, uh, and in this process, you got to hold on because the thing that God has birthed is going to be great. Uh, it's just going to take you a little time, and you're just going to have to go around that thing a different kind of way. Glory to God. Hallelujah. He stayed. Glory to God. He was puny and small. Glory to God. But you can't tell it now. Glory to God. Uh, the miracle sign of the Lord. Hallelujah. When you thought that it was going to be death and you thought that it was not going to work and you thought that it was going to uh, quit and you thought that it was going not going to have a life. Uh, it's like this. Uh, the Bible said he looked down and saw us polluted in our own blood. Uh, but even in a pollution, he said, live. Hallelujah. And go off. Uh, hallelujah. It's something about when the Lord sees you uh, in the midst of your circumstance or situation, he can look down past where you are and cause a life to come up out of you. Hallelujah. And cause you to be sustained uh, and cause you to live uh, in spite of. See, this is the thing of it is. Uh, it don't matter what people say. It don't matter what they do. It matters what you believe. It matters where you stand it matters what you say hallelujah they can say all matters of evil about you and they will hallelujah they can do all matters of things and they will but at the end of the day you still gotta be true to who God has called you to be because when you get into a rough and a tight place uh, he'll cause a sound uh, to come over you that will cause you to come out of your stupor and your situation and you'll regain momentum and strength to come out of and into uh, come out of whatever you've been into into the presence of the Lord knowing that God is the one that's going to sustain you uh, man can't sustain you uh, they can't put you in no place uh, if they do they can give you a temporary fix uh, but God can put you in a place glory to God that no man can move you out of uh, it's a spiritual place that God has taken us to uh, and when you get there it don't matter about no education about who's on the top and who's on the bottom. Uh, when God puts you in a place, uh, no man can move you because the things that he gives you, uh, they're irrevocable. Hallelujah. He's not a God that take back. Hallelujah. But he's a God that adds to. Uh, he'll trim you back, don't get me wrong, uh, to cut away the things that are not necessary so that he can add to you the things that you need. Mm, premature. Then they got this thing, had this too, had an old miscarriage, glory to God. Hallelujah, it happens. Uh, it's nothing that we are excited about. Uh, we cry, we ask God, why? Why did this have to happen to me? Uh, I don't understand this. Everybody else got this, and here I am uh, with a whole stillborn baby. Hallelujah, but in this season, hallelujah, if it did not come when you thought it was going to come, you got to hold on and know, glory to God that if God spoke it, uh, it's going to happen. Uh, that wasn't the promised seed. Uh, so we got to know, glory to God, even though mishappens, happens, mishaps. That's all they are, glory to God. That does not mean that that's where you stop at. That means, glory to God, there's a time of healing, time of getting your body, mind, spirit together, a time of regrouping so that you can know which way you are to go and how to handle the miracle, the baby, the thing uh, that God is going to bless you with when it comes. Mm, miscarriages. Uh, some of them happen accidental. Uh, in other words, in Exodus 21, 22 to 25, read it on your own time. Exodus 21, 22 to 25. It was an accident. I'm talking about if an accident happened. Hallelujah. In other words, I'm pregnant. Somebody bump me. I lose my baby. Hallelujah. Then it talked about hallelujah. Violence happened. Uh, you can have an accidental miscarriage. You can have a miscarriage where there's violence around. And then you can have a miscarriage where the divine 
divine judgment of God. Hosea 9 and 14 talks about that. Hallelujah. Well, he was like, mm -mm, we're not doing this thing. Why? God don't close that womb up. God said, this not going to come to pass. I don't know why. I don't know why he did it, but I did do know. Hallelujah. It's some things that God just won't allow. I'm going to leave that alone. Birth was a time for rejoicing, Luke 1 and 14. And um, you will, you will, excuse me, love, you will have joy and gladness. I'm sorry. And and basically we're talking about the, the rejoicing at a birth, rejoicing of something new coming in. And that's what the Lord is saying. It's some things that are released in the realm of the spirit. It's only a matter of time for the rejoicing of those things come to pass. But in the process of that time, we understand that birthing is a process and it's figurative in the Bible. It's talking about uh, our relationship with God and his people. Hallelujah. It's necessary to be born of the spirit as it is to be born of a woman. Hallelujah. So we talking about a natural thing, but we also talking about a spiritual thing. Nicodemus was talking about, hallelujah, what, what's going to happen? Should I go back into my mother's womb again? His whole process, his whole thinking was off. Like, how you going to do this thing, God? And that's how we are when the Lord tell us the things that he going to do in our life that seems impossible. We be looking at that situation like, oh, Lord, this look impossible. But can you tell me how you going to do this, God? And God said, look, uh, no, you ain't got to go back in your mother's womb again but you got to have faith and believe glory to God and in, in this season for some things to come to pass that God already don't spoke to you glory to God not only about your salvation but the things that he want to do for you because he gonna give us hallelujah desires of our heart glory to God he gonna meet our needs hallelujah but he wants us to have a little patience glory to God hallelujah and wait on and travail in the realm of the spirit hallelujah so Nicodemus he said look 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 Tell me, tell me how we're going to do this thing. Shall I go back? And he was like, now look, mama old. I'm old. How, how we going to revert that thing? And the Lord, you know, I think sometimes the Lord be looking at us and saying, now, now. <laughs> what are you thinking? Let's use some common sense and some logic in this. Glory to God. So Nicodemus have an understanding and a revelation of how God is about to birth him. Uh, is about to birth him because of his confession, his belief in the Lord and the Savior, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And so Nicodemus go through his whole process. Uh, hallelujah. So understand it. He had to get his mind right so he could understand the concept that he was being taught about how to give his life totally unto the Lord. Hallelujah. Then we're talking about birthing is also described as God's creative activity. In other words, hallelujah, there was nothing. And when God got put his hand on, there became something. We talked about birthing being something that was not and now is. Hallelujah. It's talking about bringing something forward. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Coming of the day of the Lord will cause anguish. Hallelujah. Isaiah 13 and 18. It taught about the birth and pains. Hallelujah. You're going to have pain. You're going to have agony. You're going to have some cries. You're going to have some gasping. You're going to have some panting. Glory to God. All these things that we don't go through and been through and shall go through some other things again. He said, understand this. You're going to have this, but that's not the end. Glory to God. In other words, you might go through a season of this, this, and this and not understanding and not knowing hallelujah he said but guess what uh, he said joy is coming you had to go through some things and process some things uh, some misunderstandings some confusions uh, some things that was good and you thought that that was it you thought you had reached the pinnacle but even in the best glory to God he said there's still more I'm about to give unto you uh, you gotta know when you in your season of birth and uh, you gotta know that some things you have to go through. Uh, you got to know that you just in a season of grace uh, for God is about to manifest himself unto you uh, like never before. Birthing, uh, hallelujah in my mind. Uh, hallelujah for where I can actually now see the things uh, that I could not see or yet I have an understanding uh, or a compassion uh, or I know the way. Why? Because his grace allowed me, glory to God, to go through some things. Uh, it broke my flesh so 
that my spirit can live. Mm. We don't understand that, but that's a part of the exchange uh, where that flesh is broken, glory to God. And God like, now I can get in there. Now you'll hear me. Now, 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 glory to God. So we have seasons of sorrow. Hallelujah. He said, you're going to have them. He said, but the thing about that is he about to bring forth, glory to God, what those seasons of sorrow was all about. But in the midst of this, in the process of the seasons of sorrow, you have to know that it's not time to throw in the towel. It's not time to quit and it's not time to stop. Uh, this is the time to keep on pushing forward. Uh, hallelujah. Because the greatest miracles are going to come, glory to God, in the greatest pain. Sometimes Woo! it don't look like it don't feel like that anything good is going to come out of this just like they said is anything good going to come out of Nazareth and Lord knows it did <laughs> and so when you're going through those times of testing of trials of, of misunderstanding of death and sorrow glory to God he said just like that woman who traveled Veiled in birth, glory to God. After travailing was over, glory to God, she remembered the pain no more. In other words, all the hell, all the headache, all the misunderstanding, he going to come through and watch that thing good. Hallelujah, that you ain't even going to remember it no more. Travailing, hallelujah, is hard work because uh, in the pain, uh, you can travail hallelujah, and it seemed like ain't nothing good gonna come out of this. It don't seem like nothing is gonna change it. It seemed like, glory to God, ain't no end to this thing. Uh, and so you feel like you tall and you going on, you going on, and nothing is gonna happen. They gonna always be the same. Uh, they gonna always do that. No, don't say that. Don't think that, glory to God, because the devil wants you to confess uh, that there will be no change over your life or over your loved one's life. Uh, but you gotta have a confession that I believe the word of God. I, I believe that my whole household going to be saved. I, I believe they're going to do great and mighty exports for the Lord. I, I believe that my generations are blessed a thousandfold. Hallelujah. So we got to change the way we speak and say things uh, that the manifestation of God, glory, glory to God, not only is in us, uh, but is released in the earth, glory to God. The world say, if you say positive, positive, come back to you. Uh, if you do good, 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 come back to you but the bible says whatever a man sow that shall he reap glory to god and so you don't want to be in a situation where you're trying to come out and people are speaking damnation over your life you want to be in a situation that my brother or my sister you can even be my enemy i don't care but don't speak no damnation no hard no dish she ain't gonna never change she ain't gonna never come out of this no sir no ma'am speak that she gonna Gonna come out and she gonna come out with the victory hallelujah we gotta learn how to speak those things that are not as though they were in other words when i was a youngin and i was full of hell and hurt and pain they did not understand why i was going through the things that i was going through but how do you articulate to an adult as a child what you are experiencing and going through and what has happened sometimes you don't have the word the heart the anything to say glory to god but then there comes a time, glory to God, that the Lord himself will fight for you. Uh, hallelujah. He'll give you the way. Uh, he'll show you what to say. Uh, sometimes he said, hold that peace. Uh, and you got to be able to hold your peace in the middle of that. Uh, and then sometimes people will look at you and say, you all matter to things. Uh, let them say what they say, glory to God. You got to know within yourself uh, that it is some good that's going to come out of me. Uh, it's some joy that's going to come out of me. And not only that, but for your children and your loved ones, your friends, I, I speak a blessing over my enemies. Uh, hallelujah. I'm crazy and I got crazy enough faith to believe uh, that if God changed me uh, from being snap, crackle, and pop, uh, he also is God enough to change you, uh, to change your family members, glory to God. Wow, we all connected. Uh, we all part of that seed. Uh, 
Hallelujah. I'm part of that royal seed, uh, that holy seed, uh, that righteous seed. Uh, so everything that's connected to me got to be a part of that. Uh, and we got to be flowing in that direction. Uh, hallelujah. I might not cross my or dot my today. Glory to God. But if you see me, correct me so I can get back on the way. That's what the love is all about. That's what the care is all about. That helps me put forth, hallelujah, and position myself that I may receive the joy of the Lord as well. Hallelujah. So we're talking about toiling and laboring anguish, anguish and having labor pains. Uh, but to know even in this, something good is about to happen. God is going to cause a birth in the karma. He's going to cause a birth in glory to God. He's going to cause us to go in the spirit of travail, glory to God. And travailing is hard work. Uh, travailing, nobody wants to stay in a uh, uh, travail. But God said in this season, uh, 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 while we're travailing, glory to God, he already working the things out, glory to God. Keep on praying, keep on seeking, keep on moving, stay woke, glory to God, that you don't miss God. In other words, me and pastor, we've been talking about things like, um, you got to not only be ready, but you got to stay ready, glory to God. And that travailing and labor, glory to God. Travail, Paul travail. He had a spiritual travail when he wrote to the uh, Galatians about their emotions and their troubles and things that was going on, glory to God. Uh, hallelujah. He said, my children, who I travail again. In other words, I'm praying for y'all high parts again. He says again, that means he don't done it before. Hallelujah. Until that Christ shall be formed in you. Uh, we got to learn how to pray, glory to God, until we see change happens. Uh, he talking about a wicked person. Now, a wicked person, they, they know how to travail. They keep on producing that which is against the knowledge and the word of God. They keep on producing, hallelujah, and, 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 and keep on going on, glory to God. Even the Bible talks about them in Psalm 7 and 14. Hallelujah, how that causes violence on their own head because they just keep on travailing in evilness. That's why the Bible said, don't worry about no wicked man. Don't worry about the things that he do. Don't worry about the fact that it looked like he prospered and looked like you stayed in stock. Glory to God. He said, because after a while, what's going to happen? He said, I'm a judge him, uh, but you keep your mouth off of them uh, that you be not contaminated. Glory to God. Oh, glory. So we got to travail in prayer. James 5 and 16. We got to see for those in crisis. Pray for the lost. Glory to God. And pray for direction. Pray for those in crisis. Pray for the lost. And then we got to pray for direction for our own life. Glory to God. Physical, emotional travail. Hallelujah. So we got many forms and many things that we can be travailing about. But God is letting us know that in this next season, glory to God, that we ain't going to have to worry no more. He said, I've told you these things so that in me, you may have peace. In this world, you will have trouble. But take heart, I have overcome the world, glory to God. So he's coming, glory to God. And he's going to erase away that sorrow. And he's going to turn your sorrow into joy. We got to get prepared and stay prepared. And it's not time to slack up now. It's time to go forth and decree and declare the word and the will of God to be made known and made manifest, glory to God, in your life over your life and over your loved one's life. Uh, so in this season, hallelujah, when it seemed like the warfare has been different and it is, I'm like, oh Lord, we was going through things one kind of way and then it was like a shifting. I'm like, oh, where did that come from? Uh, and how do we battle this? And, and how do we handle this? And oh Lord, and, and, and I've been up and I've been down. I've been this, I've been that. And I'm gonna give this little testimony. Um, the Lord, um, gave me a, a dream and I didn't understand it. And I, it was, I, I, I remembered it in part, glory to God. And um, when I was coming through, glory to God, I heard this little boy, his name and hallelujah. And, and so when I got up, I was like, oh Lord, I don't know the situation. I don't know what it is or anything like that. But I sensed the need to intercede for him. 
prevail for him and cover him. And today, his mother came to school and I cried out to her, you know, what the Lord had um, shown me. And she was like, oh my God, did I ever take his testimony? And so she began to tell me the baby's testimony about how he was in this um, accident and how he literally had died and um, God has spared him and he does not have any repercussions of the, of the incident that happened over his life. And I was like, God, I think, and now this little boy, I don't know. I don't know what the Lord has done in his life. I don't know the fullness of it, but I know I felt the travail. He came up in my sleep. Uh, and when I woke up, I had him. It's a travail in the season. Uh, it's a travailing season where you got a cover. Glory to God. I don't know he was going through some things uh, because his mother had told me, but I really wasn't thinking about him. But when the Lord put him in my spirit, I knew that there was something that I had to do. Uh, so for the last couple of days, I just been calling out his name before the Lord. And today she gave me this awesome testimony. You don't know who God will cause you to cover. It don't matter about their race. It don't matter about their creed. It don't even matter what, what they believe. It matters what the Lord commissioned and tell you to do. Even though she had to go through some sorrowful things, now she can reap the benefit of having her child, glory to God. And we even pray a covering of protection, not over him only, but his siblings and their household because God spared his life for a reason. Uh, we are still here. Glory to God experiences the day of the Lord because God spared our life for a reason. Hallelujah. We say some things happen for a reason in a season. Uh, I call it the divine plan of the Lord. Hallelujah. No man could take his life. Uh, the Bible said he said he'll lay it down. Uh, and it's time that we stand up uh, as the body of Christ and begin to in a sea and travail, being a place of opening, uh, being a place of hearing, uh, and being a place of doing uh, that the will of the Lord will be made manifest. Uh, and not only do the mother get to rejoice, uh, but we get to rejoice in seeing how the hand of God was on their life. Uh, and if the hand of God is on their life, what is God saying about ours? Uh, that is hand, hallelujah, It's so much on our life. Uh, and he has spared us and covered us uh, for such a time as this, glory to God. Uh, we think these things are cliches, uh, but glory to God, God appointed the day uh, to be called today. Uh, he said, and tomorrow will take care of itself. So today, uh, we got to understand our assignment uh, and move forth in the things of God. Uh, God, use me for your glory. Let me be open. Uh, let me suffer through the things that I must suffer through now so that that which is full has come. I can be partaker, hallelujah, of the divine call, the divine will, and the divine placement of God. Hallelujah. There's no other place I'd rather be. Uh, talking about Jabez, uh, how God said, look, he came to God. I was like, look, I don't want to cause no harm, no evil uh, to nobody. Hallelujah. But Lord, I pray that you bless me. Uh, Hallelujah, to not be uh, what they call me. Uh, so hallelujah. So at the end of the day, uh, it don't matter what they say. It matters what he called you. And he called you the righteousness of God. Hallelujah. Allow his righteousness uh, to be birthed in you. Uh, allow his righteousness to do what he's going to do in you uh, so he can operate through you with a clean vessel. Hallelujah. Them hands be clean and holy before him. Uh, the heart be right before him and not self-righteousness uh, saying that oh I'm right and they're wrong no we in this thing together the Lord put this woman in my in my in my place of business hallelujah she was going through some things being sensitive hallelujah and the Lord just led me to get on up and hug and embrace and encourage I said baby she's like I feel like I'm failing I said no we all go through times uh, everything gonna be like this always uh, and what we have to do is encourage one another to get up baby 
that. I say, if you fail, I fail. We're not no fails. We're victorious. We're coming over the top. Uh, hallelujah. Why? Because of God uh, and because of the things he did in us and through us. Uh, it'll give us a strength and encouragement to, to help somebody else receive the joy of the Lord. Uh, he's birthing the joy, uh, but we got to be able, glory to God, to heal, operate, and flow it. I'm done. I don't have nothing else to say. I pray that the Lord says something to you to bless your life, your soul, your heart, uh, that you can come up from where you are, no matter what position you in. Uh, hallelujah. And be available for the Lord to stretch out in you uh, and use you in this season of victory, this season of joy, this season of overcoming, this season of walking in the blessing and the fullness of God, of who he called you to be and the day that he have called you to be in it. For this is the day that the Lord has made. Glory to God. And I'm going to be right glad. I'm going to walk in and I'm going to rejoice in it. And I'm going to receive the joy that he already caused me to walk into. And I'm going to receive greater joy. Hallelujah for what he's releasing in the earth over my life. I'm going to receive a life because he calls me to live and live in abundance of place. Hallelujah. We're just not going to have no strabby living. Glory to God. But when you stretch out and give God your all, I promise you he going to stretch out and show you the way that you are to go, that you can receive the joy of the Lord even in this season of travail. Hallelujah. We bless you in the name of Jesus and we love you. God bless you and good night. We pray in the name of Jesus, sorry, that if anybody do not know the Lord Jesus and the part of their sin, that all they have to do is confess, Lord, I am a sinner. Hallelujah. I believe that you died for my sins. I, I believe that you rose again, God. Hallelujah. With all power in your hand. Hallelujah. Not only God, Hallelujah, did you do that? But you did it because you love me in spite of me. Uh, I didn't even have my stuff together yet, but you did it. And I thank you. And that's our prayer on tonight, glory to God, that we all will come into the fullness of who God is in our life, that we can walk into his eternal kingdom. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And God bless you. We love you. Good night. Thank you, Father. Glory to God.